So there's this AI enabled coding interview round that's been introduced by a bunch of companies, Meta notably, but a bunch of others like LinkedIn as well. And there, there isn't a lot of resources available right now online. So what we've done at Conditioning is we've taken advantage of the over 10,000 people on our Discord and a bunch of them have actually been through these interviews of Meta and other companies. So we've taken insights from what they've, from their experiences and compiled some practice questions so that you know what to expect. You can be ready for the new format. I have a sample problem here. I'll do a very quick overview. I'm not going to solve it so that you get a chance to do so. So it's a card game. We noticed there's a lot of games and puzzles in the types of problems, so you can always take your time and have a look. Essentially, you have a multi-file project. To keep things simple here, what I've done is put all the files in the same, combine them into one file. So this is like the requirements to TXT. Anyone who's a Python dev will know what this means. We have a .py file and a bunch of others. So there's a bunch of classes. I'm not going to go through what they are. So they represent the code. And then you'll have a test class. And for Python, they use the unit test library. So I'll strongly recommend you get familiar with this library. I mean, through our practice tests on our website, you can definitely get familiar how you know assertions work. And you want to be able to fix existing tests and even write new ones. I mean, the big challenge here with this AI-enabled coding interviews is actually getting familiar with existing code bases. So it's code you didn't write. In in the past, most coding interviews were candidates having to write, you know, implement an algorithm. So the leak code algorithmic style. Here you're gonna see code you didn't write, and you have to like quickly get up to speed and then make changes, fix bugs. So right now I have a bunch of tests. Um, I'm gonna run them. So let's run these tests and in the standard error output, I can see all the errors. So for example, you can see a certain test called test compare higher score wins uh, has failed. And you can see the stack trace and you can see why it's failed. In this case, it's actually because a not implemented error is thrown. So it means some function hasn't been implemented. So that's a hint or clue for the interviewer, like um, for the candidate to implement this function. For some of the other test failures, it would be because there's just an assertion error and maybe there's a bug somewhere. Um, if they really want to be tricky, some of the tests, the assertions could actually be wrong in the sense that whatever is being asserted in the test case is actually wrong. Maybe this expected score of 5 plus 3 plus 2, which is 7, um, 8, 9, maybe it should be 10. So if they really want to be tricky, you could get that as well. So you've got to really have attention to detail. So you might have to implement new functions, fix existing tests, write new tests, debug existing written code. Um, and generally speaking, you want to be able to get familiar with existing code bases. And that doesn't mean you should like read an old implementation. It's about looking at the classes, the interfaces, on the, you know, the function comments, understanding what it should do, and using a test to guide you on what to fix. Um, so I'll leave this for you guys to explore. And on our site as well, we have, in our blog section, we have a complete guide to this coding round, again, based on, based on insights from candidates who've taken the interview. And you can see you have all your questions answered. So this would help you and hopefully uh, eliminate all the confusion because it'll be very annoying if you clear all the other rounds and then just because this new this round is new and you didn't have enough information and like ruins your opportunity of getting that um, offer. So um, maybe I should show you how to get there from our site. So on the homepage, codition.com, go to the learn section. Clicking on learn should take you to this page where you'll see an explore content selected, uh, a bunch of courses. Just look for the meta coding and AI enabled course and you'll see a bunch of practice questions, AI assisted coding, there's even one tutorial, which we're probably gonna update and make it a practice challenge. So for the older ones tagged with AI assisted coding, you can actually work through them. Anyone mark this tutorial, if you find any, it's just a walkthrough. I think most of you probably wanna try out yourself. And if you look at any of uh, the challenge, you, if you're stuck or confused, you can look, hit the review solution button and we have a detailed, walkthrough of the solution and of course it's an AI assisted round 
So we have an AI assistant you can talk to. Um, the feedback we've gotten from a lot of candidates is you actually don't necessarily need the AI for the round. Obviously, you should use it where it saves you time, but there might be a case where it's just one line and you do a tweak. So maybe you can do the fix, get the AI to review what you change, and maybe move on to the next thing. Maybe the AI can be reviewing your work as you're like doing things in parallel, perhaps. That could be a good strategy. But yeah, definitely explore the challenges and hopefully this helps. The link will be added in the description. I'll also add the link to our Discord. But anyway, if you have mock interviews coming up, definitely check us out. We have a bunch of senior engineers at Fang and other big tech companies that can help you with coaching and realistic mocks to get you interview ready, to level you up, to do diagnostics, whatever you want. So just really explore this page. See you in the next video. Hope this helps.